guys in this example we will learn how to use wire pole directive in laravel live wire so wire pole directive work like web sockets like sending request on regular interval so let's see with the example and let's understand for example you want uh, you have a like a like button or subscribe button then you don't have refresh the page it's automatically count in youtube and you see in the facebook so it's automatically count and uh, done that thing so same thing it worked like wire pole okay so let me show you with the example and let's see so you can see that i already created products component and simply display the name and price of the product and inside the product you can see that product table i already have a like name price detail and there is also one column that called status so what i will do i will simply add display the status over here and change from the database it automatically update over here okay you don't need to refresh or you don't need to do anything so let's see that so first of all what i will do you can see here when wire in it is load then load product so that means getting all the product into the products variable okay and loop it over here so what i will do simply go here and i will say status over here and save it and here what i will do td and i will add if like a product status equal equal to available then it will display i will use bootstrap bats so it should be available that means it will be a primary so what i will do simply available over here and save it okay and else if i will say same thing i will copy this condition if it's on sale that means i will copy this success page simply paste it over here i will say on sale over here and if else and if if there is nothing then i will use secondary badge okay and i will say simply there is three status i taken if i go here you can see that available out of stock and on sale okay so i will take danger okay so what i will do simply copy this paste it over here okay and i will simply say out of stock simply save it okay and now if i go here and refresh it you can see that on sale on sale because everyone are on on sale so i will say available and this one i will say out of stock so let's see and if i go and refresh you can see that available out of stock and on sale now what i will do i will use wire pole and then change from the database the status it should automatically change the status over here okay so what i will do simply use wire pole and then i simply need to which method you want to call same method i will going to call load products that means what it does it will simply call this and get all the product and add on it okay on, on products variable okay save it refresh it okay and now let me go and apple iphone max so i will change and make it out of stock if i go here it's become out of stock automatically you can see here but you don't see because let me go and add some seconds over here so i will say every 15 second should be refresh okay then i simply refresh it now what i will do simply go and i will make it like on sale now let's wait for a 15 second and it will automatically dom updated so let's wait a moment you can see that on sale okay and same thing if i go here and i will same available and if i go here and let's wait for a 15 second you can see that you don't have to do anything it's like a calling web socket so it's inside the back end you can see that it's available now let me go and all the product let me make it out of stock from the database out of stock and if i go here and let's wait a moment and all the products will out of stock you can see that so you guys understand how easily we can work with wire pole like web socket you can use it okay and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys